Hey guys, how's it going? Laura with Garden Answer. Today I want to show you the Crescent True Drop self-watering containers and I'm really excited for this video because it's been in the works for about a year now. You guys might remember when we were able to visit Four Star Greenhouses in Michigan last summer, they had these self-watering containers all over in their gardens in different sizes and colors and they were beautiful. The plants looked just amazing. So I asked about them and they explained kind of how they worked. I was really interested. So they ended up sending me one that I was able to plant and we put it in a video. And you guys, I got 26 days out of it from filling the reservoir to having to fill it again. 26 days. I saved that much time watering. So I really want to make an effort to switch a lot of my stuff in my garden over to more self-watering, more self-sustaining things because right now I spend about one to two hours every single day watering. And if I can save some time, I mean, you cannot put a price on that. So after I had such great success with that container last year, I actually contacted Crescent Garden and asked them if they'd be willing to partner with us on a video. And I also asked them if they'd be willing to give one of you guys one of these containers to try out and they said yes. So at the end of this video, I'll give you all the details on how to sign up and, and all that stuff. So as far as these containers go, they are made out of a super heavy duty plastic um, that's both recyclable and it's food safe. So you can grow edibles in it and you're good to go. They're also double walled, which really helps with temperatures. So when it gets really hot or when it gets kind of colder. Um, however, in winter time, I would drain the reservoir inside and put it in. There's actually a 10 year warranty on these things if you drain it and put it in somewhere for the winter. So this one is called the Dot Planter. This was their first style they came out with. It's actually got braille on the sides. It's really kind of neat. This is in the color slate and this one's called their Rim Planter, which is their newest design. And this one's in the color olive. They do have a lot of different colors and I hear that they've got some more styles in the works, which I'm really excited for. Um, but so how it works, let me just show you the inside here. So the soil reservoir is actually only about halfway down the, this pot and you can see the different tiers in there and that's the different um, levels in the water reservoir. So right here up in the front, we've got the water indicator, which there's three raindrops that you'll see. So you'll see all three of them if the reservoir is completely full and then, you know, if all three of them are gone, you know, you need to fill it back up, but it's kind of nice that it gives you a midway point. That way, if you see that you've got two drops and you know you have some time before you need to fill, but if you only see one drop present, you know you pretty much need to be watching that container to possibly fill it pretty soon. This is where you fill it. So this little cap comes right off. It does have a stop, so you won't lose it. And it's big enough to fit the end of your hose. So you can just stick your hose down in there and fill up the reservoir until you see three drop indicators in the water indicator there. So on the back side, let me pop this in. On the back side here, this is the drain. So when you need to drain it for winter time, you just take the cap off and can drain it very easily. And then on the bottom, so I think this is a really cool feature. You can see the little red cap down there. That's actually the um, overfill. So if you've got these pots outside and you already have the water re reservoir all the way full and then you get a rainstorm, you might think that the extra water will like rot your plants because there's nowhere for the water to go because the reservoir is already full. Well, when it's, once it gets to a certain level, it'll actually drain out. So there's an overfill drain so that your plants will never you know, die because of rot but you can put that little red cap. So if, if it's outside, you take the red cap out. If you are inside though, you can use these indoors by putting that cap in and that way it plugs up that overfill drain because you're not dealing with any excess water, um, you know, from any rain or sprinklers, things like that. So, I mean, it's really cool that you can use them in both places. That way, if you have that plug in, when you have it inside, you don't have to have a saucer or anything. You can just stick it on the ground and it, the floor will be protected you won't get water anywhere. So the way it works is you plant it up and then you do want to water normally, like from overhead the first time, just to make sure all the plants are settled in and you've got enough soil in there. And then you can fill the water reservoir up. And then as the plants need it, they'll suck the moisture up from underneath. And this is actually how a lot of the professionals do it in the growing industry. The more growing facilities that Aaron and I've been able to tour, we're learning that they do keep a lot of the plants on the ground and these floors are designed so that when those plants need to be watered, water will sub up from underneath. They'll let it sit there for a minute, let the plant suck it up, and then the floors will drain. So it's actually really fascinating to watch, and this is kind of the same concept. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant these up. Um, this one, I actually have several of this style, so this pot is part of a bigger project. I'm gonna be planting some really pretty sun-loving annuals in this one. And this one, I haven't quite decided yet, but I think I'm gonna go for lots of color and some things that will really like sun as well. So each of these containers took about two cubic feet of soil per pot. I'm gonna add in about nine tablespoons of a slow-release plant food 
to start them off and then I'll put in my annuals. So for this rim planter, I used a graceful grasses vertigo as the centerpiece, and this one will grow like between three and four feet tall. So in the end, it'll be a beautiful, huge thriller centerpiece. Then on the outside, I used supertunia black cherry, supertunia latte, and then a sweet potato vine or ipomea called raven, which I love the foliage on this thing. And I think all these colors go really, really well together. And in the dot planter, I used a graceful grasses, purple fountain grass as a centerpiece. And these also get really big and beautiful. And then to surround it, I used one of Proven Winners 2017 recipes, which is called Above and Beyond. And it has supertunia vista fuchsia, supertunia vista bubblegum, and supertunia vista silverberry. So all nice bright pinks. So I'm really excited to see how both of these fill in and grow and how they do. So I'm just gonna water them in with my hose first, just from the top to make sure everything's settled. So now that I have them all watered in from overhead, like I was supposed to, I'm gonna fill the reservoir. So for this one on the rim planter, the fill hole's right in the front. So I'm gonna take the cap off and just insert my hose and fill. And the end of my water wand is the same diameter as the end of a hose. So it fits down in that fill hole really easily. Oh, there's one, one dot. You'll notice as it's filling, the in float indicators will start to rise. So we've got two up already. There we go, it's full. So I'm just gonna put the fill cap back on and we're set. How awesome is that? So they're all set to go, the water reservoirs are full. So now I just need to keep my eye on the water reservoir and just kind of gauge how long I need to go between waterings. We do have temperatures coming up in the 90s, starting to get hotter. So I will be keeping a close eye on these things. And as fertilizer, as far as fertilizer goes on these, you can fertilize normally. You can mix up your fertilize and fertilize overhead if you want to. You could also add a liquid fertilizer in through the water fill hole into the water reservoir. And that's another really cool thing about these. So not only do they conserve water, so if all the water you're putting in these, these plants are utilizing, you're not wasting water, but you're also not wasting fertilizer. So potentially we may get away with fertilizing a little bit less because a lot of times when we're fertilizing in normal containers, a lot of that is being leached out. You know, it's draining out through the bottom and the plants aren't even using it. So it's kind of a waste. So I think that's a really cool thing about this. So as far as where you can get these, Crescent Garden is a wholesaler. So you can go to their website and punch your zip code into their dealer locator and it will tell you where the closest dealer is to where you live. Um, also, if your local garden center is not carrying the, these yet, maybe chat with them about it. Um, I know I've been showing my parents uh, this whole line and we may start carrying this at our garden center. Uh, and then they're also available on Amazon, but I would recommend if you can get them locally, do that first because there's something about being able to see the color exactly and see the size and all that. Um, also, shipping is kind of expensive because these are kind of bulky items, so it can be a little costly to get them to you. But we'll have all the links down below for everything, all the plants and the containers. Um, as far as the giveaway goes, so all you have to do for this is just leave a comment down below. And do keep in mind that we upload these videos to both Facebook and YouTube. So where we're gonna announce the winner is on YouTube in the description of this video. We'll also include the date we're gonna be picking the winner. So there'll be the date that we're picking the winner plus the winner once we do pick who the winner is. Um, down in the description, so check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about these containers as well as seeing all of this gorgeous color come together. I'm really looking forward to seeing these things grow and I'm excited to show you how they look throughout the season. And thank you Crescent Garden for um, partnering with us on this video and also for the giveaway, so awesome. We will see you guys in the next video, bye.